I am doing one movie and video and in meanwhile I will, at least I'm gonna try I'm gonna finish the video about the Mike Tyson uh, there's been a lot of truth about Mike Tyson how it all started and Mike Tyson this and Mike Tyson that nobody ever stated however the truth about Mike Tyson including Mike Tyson Mike Tyson personally stated me will not disclose any part of the truth that pertains to him because he prefers this artists a uh, free artists uh, photographers reporters article writers for whatever media outlets uh, to form their own opinion basically a story about him uh, based on their own hallucinations in other words that's just the way it is he didn't he didn't state the word hallucinations uh, but ideas he did and he did so in our house here in the Novo Mesa, he stated that he prefers it this way. There is a lot of stories about him, of which not even one, with including his closest trainers, supported supports the truth. The truth about Mike Tyson is that. This picture here is the truth about Mike Tyson. This one here. There are two when it comes to me. One is this one here. Let me see if I can get it. And this one here. This is what determines him the most. He... If he wanted to lie, he couldn't. And trust me, he wanted badly. And this one here, three three pictures. I'm gonna take three pictures to explain who Mike Tyson is. Yeah, this one here, I understand. This picture was taken in 1977. I was uh, I was five years old, and Tyson about six years older than myself. It means 11. And he looked like this at 11, at age 11. Um. It was like this. This here, British Royal Family, 1977. Let's say I was looking about. I wondered who saved Mike Tyson from the street life, from the certain death, and. I didn't find any person that would suit my profile here on the British Royals. I have seen some photos from 1977. Oh, this one here, I like this. No, not this here. But it could be that this photo would eventually help me out. Uh, this one probably is going to do it for me because it says Japan. No, sorry, Italy and United Kingdom. Germany no Germany was not I was looking at these photos and I was hoping I would get somebody uh, in British family that was the one that uh, saved Mike Tyson but as much as I looked for that I couldn't find one Nineteen I couldn't find one so, this this one this here this is a this is the right photo uh, I considered it based on this photo here I did not recognize person that uh, that would save Mike Tyson from the street anywhere here I didn't I didn't find any any person any individual fuck this come on we don't have a time for this stuff let me go straight to the matter Prince Philip made himself here and there visible by gesturing me that we're gonna save someone. He would say to me, we're gonna save someone. We're gonna go, 
we're gonna go there and we're gonna go save someone. And I had no fucking idea what the fuck he was talking about. Uh, so what they would do is, and this, this wouldn't be British that would do solely this stuff. In fact, Prince Philip wasn't really saving many, uh, but it was also others that were involved in this charity type of work. And on occasion in 1976, not in 1977, 1976, Oh, this was earlier, probably 1970, you know, when I was sometimes like three years old, you know, I estimate like 1974, something like that, there would be these children that whenever they would deliver me to the New York, Let's just take 1977 mayor from New York. This will be a frequent individual, a person that I would meet with. And it would be, of course, also other mayors, politicians from Washington, D.C., presidents, because I was not the one who traveled there. It would be others that would have me there. So I suppose. I don't know which one it was, but this one here, this here, this, this here, I don't know, let me see who this guy is, American politician, Bronx, New York, mayor of New York, 7889, um, this one here, this I would have to think about which one was asshole and which was which one was not asshole. For this one here, I can tell you that once he departed from the office, uh, even before that, sometimes like in 1986, he went on to tell everybody to fuck me. No, actually, probably 1984, that I'm a very bad person. He gave me a reputation in New York. Uh, reputation of his own, reputation with which he traveled to cover up for the crime which went on against me in New York ever since my, since I was baby. Should have been, but was not. This individual here, this, he was up to no fucking good. Uh, these are like the sweetest people in the world. When you dealt with them, when I dealt with them as a baby, child, these were the most beautiful, sweetest people in the world. It was like magicians, like being around magical, nicest people. Because other than that, it was a terror that surrounded me, beatings. I already explained on my blog. So this is how you get the nice and not nice, basically. It's, Trump like, loves to use this nice, he's nice. You can tell he's from New York, Donald Trump. You can tell he's from New York. Uh, just by using that word nice. Nice. Um, let's go back to Mike Tyson. You know, sometimes in... 1974... Is when Mike Tyson got on a picture. And this was... Practically a homeless child that would run with his friend or friends it was a group of them it was like several of them and whenever they would deliver me to the new york uh these kids were regardless of their location whatever they were they were to report to us whatever they delivered me i had no fucking clue but this is where the politicians would be and they they make them they would spread the news through the New York uh, and they would basically summon them. They would page them to report themselves immediately. Uh, a group of black kids and poor kids, poor children for, with a poor background. And those that would not report themselves, they would be automatically diselected. 
they would be dumped on the side, they would be pushed away on the side, they would, they would be sidelined. And so this choice of helping disadvantaged children would narrow and narrow and narrow and one of the children that was extremely oriented towards survival that would um, still manage to get through the through the city regardless of it uh, just happens to be Mike Tyson uh, and I literally was trained to be vicious with the people I now know what more about what my purpose was uh, on one way spoiled and entitled to uh, be rough with the children uh, so that I could be beaten up abused afterwards by the same age or older or whatever or all or, or grown up people uh, but well I was tougher I was tougher than younger and older and grown-ups in everyone and I did not forgive I, for everything that took place against me, took a note of it and promised them vendetta for the stuff they did to me. Uh, and so, under no circumstance have I ever considered giving up on anything in my life. Something very, very unusual, totally different from any other people, any other people people in America they always do stuff to people so they can do with the people whatever the fuck they want to do and it's not only in America they do it everywhere uh, but in my case they couldn't do anything with me because they didn't get anything on me and at the same time on the other side on my side the proofs about the crime continued to pile up and pile up and pile up and pile up beyond Mount Everest. More and more and more proofs about, abru ab about abuse, about genocide, with more and more pressure added to the parties involved in it. Mike Tyson that day, the day that he is posing, I suppose since 1977, was age of five, uh, met with I don't know, probably Italian or French Prime Minister. Let me see something else here. Just so I'm not gonna... I don't know. I don't know. The people that... Uh, yeah! Yeah, 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 I have to know. I do have to know. Italy, Japan, United Kingdom. So, let me see who was... Uh, no. Helmut Heinrich Weltmarsch Schmidt. That is very, very possible was an individual that traveled. No, but... Um, He can't be alive anymore, Helmut Schmidt, no. Um, what is this? Four days ago, what is four days ago? Okay, finished in 2015. That is very, very possible that this was the man who went with me to New York that time. In 77, that was German president, let me see, French, 
could be French. They also did charity work. I don't know. Valérie de Estaing died in 2020. Um, <laughs> he is a good looking fella, but the other one is better looking fella. But I don't know if he's a better looking fella. This is also good looking fella. I don't know. I don't know. More or less, it looked like this. It looked like this. It looked like uh, Schmidt. I don't know. You can see that somewhat uh, back to the distance that you would go and consider. It was kind of difficult to know who traveled with me, that with whom I, who had me on plane to New York that day in '77, when uh, Mike Tyson at least looked like this on the photo that you see right there. Okay. Well, Mike Tyson was um, a beginning that day. Uh, what I know is that a mayor of New York came. They have mayors as politicians. And this person, whoever was with me, and I think it was the German guy anyways, this guy here. Uh, I think it was him. Yeah, this is like maybe more uh, because he's got a hair. Better looking. Yeah, I think this was the man. I think he was the one. He would, This one was not. Even this is very good looking. Uh, he's missing hair is what I'm trying to say. Very good looking. Now, he doesn't have a hair right there. You see that. He doesn't have a hair. So I don't know. Um, they both are kind of... You know, let me see. This was the guy here. Most likely this was the guy. Yeah. Right here. This was a very, very soft guy. Very, very nice guy. He truly behaved like a royalty. Um, beginning that day, whatever day that was in 77, I remember this clothing. Um, he got a, Mike Tyson got a, a political support behind him. This man, whoever, and I think this is, this is who he was. He summoned a mayor and stuff and uh, mayor started to ask uh, about, I don't know, maybe to talk to Mike what he wants to do in life or whatever. No, I don't know. Um... And uh, I don't know about this photo here, about 77, because Mike Tyson did not look like this in 77. In 77, he was 11 years old. I don't think he, yeah, well, I don't know. At age 11, I think Mike Tyson was already very different than that. So uh, I don't know. Uh, this photo right there that you see is not authentic, I would say. This jacket that he's using, this jacket here that you see, he's using one from his mom. This was, I think, oversized jacket. Um, you know, I... This is one thing. This is also why this stuff is even more suspicious to me. His mom was re really rough, for one thing I'm going to say. And, um, you know, he, he was better off outside than inside, I think, just because already, because the way this, this stuff was. It could be, this is from mom, just jacket. I don't know. Um, I didn't want to play with him inside doors. They did deliver me to his neighborhood. I remember his mom somewhat. 
and uh, he was better off outside than inside. I know I was. And um, the mayor summoned these trainers, boxing trainers, whatever. And uh, I don't know what his age was, but this is when he got uh, support. I don't know if he got at 11. The question is, when was this photo taken, you know? At 5, I'm thinking about. Sounds to me a bit suspicious, this. At my age 5, that's a bit suspicious. Yeah, I mean, it's possible, yeah. I guess so. Yeah, I mean, I suppose so. Alright, whatever the fuck they say, this is just, uh, you know, supposedly this is in 1977, I saw this photo. Mike Tyson, the way he's posing here, was no, however, he was not an innocent child. This was not some kind of saint or something like that. Um, he, from a very little, just like all the children. Uh, but his mom actually tutored him to view life the criminal way. I think she was a teacher. I think she was his best teacher. Which is something Mike Tyson would totally disagree with me. That she was... Uh, it was more kids. It wasn't only him. But the neighbors were really rough. Um, but the way he saw it, the life is, as a child, the way he, he was tutored, is tutored in life. And this is probably the only easing circumstances for him. He saw the life as something that you have to cheat. The more the cheater you are, the more the liar you are, the more you get ahead. And it came to him totally, totally natural. I remember other kids, and these kids had no fucking... These kids would do some shit to you, and they would say that you did something to them, without even touching anyone or whatever, and they really enjoy hurting. It was like a pack of wild chickens, like they would be picking on another smaller, weaker chicken or something like that. If he's a six years senior than to me, basically. Yeah, I mean, this shit fucked up. Um, He was no angel, and this jacket that he has, this jacket, he already had this jacket for, I remember, several years, at least two years, I'm going to say. I think, actually, sorry, let me be very, very careful with this jacket here. The jacket he's using might have been exactly the jacket the mom purchased him in 1977 like a six months old jacket that he's wearing right there it was a brand new jacket uh but what's interesting about this schizophrenia case is because this is what he worked on this is his conscience this is the way this is how the people in america get ahead uh mike tyson posed with uh, similar jackets already much earlier, like two years earlier, uh, his mom was really, really good with the clothing. Now, I actually even started to suspect as a baby that she works at some fucking clothing store or some shit like this. I didn't understand what the fuck is she into clothing so much that she knows about the clothing. And so I, I think that this is a brand new stuff. And I think they were using some other stuff, some other jacket, whatever. They were playing with this stuff that was order to fool me. And something is saying to me that Mike Tyson had a sister, which probably he didn't. Mike Tyson does have a sister. 
I never browse this stuff. Um, she died in 1991. And she was born in 61. She was as evil as fuck. She was more even though Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson in the household was... Um, to me, it appeared as if Mike Tyson had a sister, mom. And it was more children, but this is not logical. I mean, it's not logical. There were, must have been the children from the neighbors, I think. No. Hell no, that's not possible. Those are, that, that was his brother. Did Mike Tyson have a brothers? He has an older brother named Rodney. There you go. Yeah, Mike Tyson was uh, the youngest one of them. And he was the most responsible. He was more responsible than his older brother and his older uh, sister. The two were evil as fuck. The most evil was his older brother. Uh, and the less evil was uh, his sister, but also evil. In, 91, I, in 1991, I graduated for mechanical engineering technician. That's two years after I got, uh, I became a maintenance mechanic. And uh, Slovenia became independent. And so these deaths that I see in year 1990 and then in 1991, I totally understand. I totally, totally, totally understand Mike Tyson family. Because they were so fucking abusive, man. So violent. Um, the mom from Mike Tyson... I think she worked a lot. She was missing a lot. She, she supposed. I didn't get the idea about what what ha what was going on with the mom because she was all the time at home, and sometimes it appears to me that or that he would go to meet her someplace. She was in a very very bad situation, uh, like sort of pick up mom or visit mom. Um, if I would go to his home. I would probably even find the way all the way to 1975. Mike Tyson was the most uh, responsible and mother wanted him to be the most responsible. It was the agreement, it was the deal between, between Mike and his mother that he will stick to the plan. Mother estimated that uh, the older daughter and son were screw-ups. Just like this. So you see, there is a lot of stories on the internet, but none really is real about him. This is a real story about Mike Tyson. She stated to me that, she, that they already fucked up everything. Chances for life. They blew them. But that she has him and she doesn't want him to blow chances. And so that's 77, if it was in 77, really. Um, that photo doesn't explain really anything. That photo is a lie. <laughs> this is a fucking lie. It was not that he got the assistance in 77. He got assistance already in 1976. Uh, but yeah, in 77, I guess in between 76 and 77, the mayor summoned the people that were uh, like boxing people and asked them who the best trainer is and this where and this and that. And Gus Amato somehow, named Gus Amato somehow came up, surfaced. And Gus Amato appeared. That's trainer from 
from Mike Tyson was this here, this guy, Cus, Gus, Cus Amato, Cus Di Amato. I don't pronounce it right. Cus Di Amato, yeah. He came. And uh, when he came, uh, first when, when, when Cus Di Amato came to visit, this was done on the side with me and with uh, in front of me, I should say, by by a mayor, and uh, the mayor still didn't do anything. He he, as I stated, he summoned some people that he knew, and then he he possibly even summoned the other mayor or or the individual who who was not yet a mayor, you know, like I started at the beginning of the video pointing out about the mayors, and then on the side. Cus Di Amato started to negotiate the business. Cus Di Amato, the first time when he came, he was totally not interested. He would be like a guy that would come and would say, hey, where, where's the fucking money? Where's my money, basically? This was Cus Di Amato when he came first. And then briefly, shortly, he returned back. And he was interested in learning what they have to say. It, this one reminded me like of the fishing where you would go and you would throw the float somewhere where you already feeded the fish and the fish would circulate and would become more and more interested in the food that you offer in the water. And that's exactly what it was. Um, he wanted the money. He wanted to have the money. The, the ability to find and to be financed and he was the man for the job he was the man for the job I did miss even more important stuff here I didn't do this part good there was a big problems with this fucking trainers uh, there was another trainer it was not only Gus Di Amato, it was another trainer who was more of a headache. Uh, it was all kinds of problems with him, whoever the fuck this was. Uh, this did not last for too long. They broke the contract or whatever, and then they got the Gus, Gus Di Amato exactly in the way I described. There was some other trainer who was totally some American white trainer or whatever. Who was totally not reliable, unreliable, whatever the fuck happened. I have no idea. But uh, he was just... It was something that was like, make it at least look like it was very difficult to get the right trainer. Till the Gus, Gus, uh, not the Gus, but Gus Diamato came on a picture. And so that's how Mike Tyson gets a trainer. And uh, that's how he starts training. Literally through Illuminati circle purchased him as a baby, as a regular baby. That's all there was. That is a baby who, however, was very, very, just as I described, very dedicated uh, to life, to succeeding in life. His mom had a lot to do with that. His mom had everything to do with it. Um... Mike Tyson Mike Tyson reported Lorna Smith 1982 is dead I gotta consider that one more I learn more about this let me see about something else oh I see something else here so this is Lorna Smith uh -huh. yeah so the Lorna Smith Mike Tyson's mother uh, was more beautiful than on the picture here that you see. I saw the picture. I know. No, I know. 
and Mike Tyson is holding here in the sweater he is holding a white lady here <laughs> older lady all right that's a naughty stuff I will explain uh, she was good looking uh, mom um, now I really don't believe that she ever passed away she might have I have to see that stuff yet I have to see what the reason was and this and that and all that other stuff but the thing about it is that she was hot to me <laughs> I was I was uh, I was no longer a baby but uh, yeah, whatever I was just different kind of MK Ultra baby so I saw things as a baby already is totally different and so now you probably understand why Tyson is posing in a sweater you don't know yet but he's posing with this lady like this I mean yeah um, the sweaters the sweaters the sweaters were not my thing I didn't like no fucking sweaters like that uh, I don't like any kind of sweaters really but I told you about this stuff already how the clothing was in Yugoslavia I told you about these things uh, this was a Yugoslavia uh, and this asshole actually thought that it was my idea that the sweaters were my idea the sweaters are not my fucking idea this was just in Yugoslavia, it was like this, that they had these sweaters. And his sweaters look good when compared to those sweaters I had. Uh, my sweaters are really, really poor when compared to American sweaters. We don't have a quality of the clothing like Americans had. So they ridiculed my sweaters and everything I had. For which I knew, by the way, anyways, I knew that this was shit compared to their clothing. Um, but that was also the only thing they ever had uh, next to uh, age advantage older uh, bigger stronger whatever that's what they had uh, but if you came anywhere near my age their ass got whipped for sure I make no mistake about it viciously too black or white I didn't know I didn't care whatever came my way I was not by Mike Tyson Mike Tyson I don't know about Mike Tyson but I can't say with a certainty about Mike Tyson but the real strength that comes with the boxing and this is the secret of the boxing and it's a secret about the judo and it's a secret about the karate and all other sports the real secret when it comes to wrestling all these sports is hitting inside of the neck of one and uh, my neck was just as big as the Mike Tyson when I was child in fact it was really really weird neck because it was somehow long and it looked like a neck of the normal child and whenever I need it it looked like I could almost pull one inside of my body or at least it turned out to be as if you would inflate one which is people claim is impossible the fact of the matter is however that I was and I did lifted children of my same age who grabbed themselves up to my neck and I would literally lift them up from the floor and they were even bigger than myself I had a capacity to grab child and lift child Americans studied this stuff because they wanted to know what makes one strong so strong and they came up with solution that must have been a neck it's a Mike Tyson and my secret Mike Tyson is the one who observed this stuff 
They have a whole delegation that study these things. What makes one so strong? What makes how is possible child like this? So they study it, and he was the first one who started to implement that in real practice. It paid him off enormously. He had a big success. Uh, and it was, as Mike Tyson suggested while watching me falling apart in front of him, our secret. Um, Mike Tyson had a quality, like I mentioned earlier, to pose like a totally innocent child. Uh, maybe this was like a, in a naughty way, I don't know. But he didn't make sure that I would acknowledge that he is evil when he would be posing for the photos, or it is as a child. And I was a little bitch too. I did my little input to deserve that maybe in a way. You know, I was not an angel, whatever. Um, just declining to want to have nothing to do with it gave one right to do whatever he pleased, whatever he wanted to do with me. These were the laws of MK Ultra. You don't want to deal with somebody, he had a, lot, a right to do with you whatever he wanted to do. And then pose for the picture and fuck you basically once you find the picture on the internet. That's the law of MK Ultra. And so he got a pretty decent collection of uh, posing in front of the abuse next to me with uh, photographers and so on. Uh, he was very, very, very much into the schizophrenia. Mike Tyson was very, very much into the schizophrenia. Uh, he understood psychiatry perfectly. Uh, Mike Tyson understood psychiatry perfectly how it works. He knew perfectly what it means to make somebody mentally ill through the suffering. Uh, and while depicting yourself as a good Samaritan, he learned the straight as a child. And so he was the best at it. Better than at boxing, he was at schizophrenia. Jai somebody and say causing harm and then basically pose for the photo of it. Even better so with assistance of others. Depicted himself in a public like a victim of uh, you know, he uh, you know, he got the trainer here. I see that he's got a trainer. That trainer, that other trainer, that was also a piece of work. Um, I'm going to get to that issue. I don't want to get to that issue yet. Yeah, you can see him again here in a sweater. This was on some bus, something like this. He came to me and he asked me about, I don't know if I can give him. And I don't want to have nothing to do with it which was an easy thing to do to a child, you know? I just didn't want to have anything to do with the Tyson. The more he grew up, the more evil this was, this whole thing. Uh, was this his fault? Well, he was making it through. I mean, he was... He, 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 he was making it through. He worked on it. He, he was... He was making it through. You know? Um, I like this photo here. I like this photos here. This year, 1985, this. This stuff I like. That was at the home of his surrogate uh, mother, Camilla Edward. This was in, this was in what, what the fuck? This was in 1985, you know? But... If I tell you that he was doing the same thing, like here, you see in this picture here, already years back, way earlier, um, I would have fucked myself. I would definitely, definitely fuck myself. I, I tell you that Mike Tyson was right here 
you see right there with me already in uh, let's say 1980 um, I would have fucked myself you know I would have fucked myself 1980 I was 8 years old and Dyson was 14 and if I would say to you that he was doing exactly what you see here already in 1978 when he was 12 years old that he would deliver me to the pigeon house where he would death threaten me and would engage in physical beatings and stuff that's once he started to train boxing now as a six years older kid who's got a professional trainer behind and he's doing a boxing training I would not lie to you like I said this was a young specialist specialized into the psychiatry he became specialized into psychiatry in a schizophrenia in particular this became a killer in every sense of the word he's depicted on the internet like you know it, it's it's crazy the way I see this stuff here Mike Tyson Mike Tyson you you put Mike Tyson and you're gonna see like he's some kind of a warrior for the human rights and stuff like this like he's, he's like like a karma boy or something like this hey you could be so wrong about everything that not that you could be that you would be so wrong about it that you couldn't be more like you were like totally totally know nothing about who really Mike Tyson is yeah, that's what that's why I started this video about this filmmakers documentaries photographers article writers philosophers all kinds of stuff he alone became really philosophical about life Mike Tyson is nothing like he's portrayed in the media. I mean, he was young and he was... Yeah, he, he had a hard beginnings. He had a tough beginnings. But his beginnings were exactly like the way I described. His beginnings were entitled beginnings. This is an entitled kid. This is the kid that got the best of the best. Mike Tyson even, I think trained for some time quite with some other trainer I don't know for how long maybe like six months and that trainer was no good or three months between three and six months and then they fired that training and then he got the custom model they want to fucking say if I was there and if I remember things think about it twice this is an entitled kid. This is what an entitled kid with absolutely everything looks like. And this is a deceiver. As deceiving as he gets. Liarous and murderous as he gets. Real Mike Tyson. The contrast of the two. Is so evident more on this picture than it is on anywhere else. He already had a good amount of torture behind this picture here. But what pisses me off is... He wanted to profit from like this kind of stuff here. This is this is what fucks me up. He wanted to profit from this kind of stuff. Well, the thing is that this pigeon house was not even there till Mike Tyson came to this house. But he was criminal enough to misguide me as a child as a young child and so then you know that you have a that he's got a really really criminal character beginning 78 when I was age of 6 and he was 12 and he started already trained boxing to another house to another location not even to this location where he would go and pay visitations to the pigeon house where they also had them he liked pigeons for whatever reasons and he would bring me along to that place and he would engage in a torture that was not very nice at all was it 
And he would do so with the beatings, with the torture. I guess that's what he got paid for. That's how he got paid for his life, I suppose. Till eventually he would move to this house of Gasamaro. And then they would make him a like a little pigeon place where he would go and he would also deliver me and also do the stuff and pose in front of me also with other photographers and so on and he would continue with this torture with idea to prove that something is wrong with me if I would state this and that and state and this and that pigeon pigeon is also the name of the Robert Golop this individual here that's a pigeon here Mike Tyson and Robert Golop are very good friends with one another from what I know they are the same age almost this man is four years older than myself I am more or less same age uh, and both were entitled kids both belong to elite if you go to Mike Tyson there was a poor single lady disadvantaged background social if you go to Golop same shit also worker class in that sense but that didn't mean that this kids didn't have far more than I had the really disadvantaged kid I was the one but that doesn't matter because they labeled me to become a schizophrenic as a baby thanks to Josip Brostito so this is how blacks brokered crime genocide for the sake of Soviet Union I should say for the sake of Russia for the sake of Serbia greater Serbia Yugoslavia Belgrade and Balkans and so on they didn't mind to get dirty and kill and murder with through the ethnic cleansing they ought to fucking help you out in their own way in the same way as those that paid them to do this stuff I'm not even saying that they did all this stuff by themselves that this was their product I mentioned about the British Royals how dirty they play and stuff about the Washington DC politicians Richard Nixon Ronald Reagan, the crime they ran, and how they worked together with the blacks. I talked about that stuff. I'm not defending anybody here. This is the true about Mike Tyson. That's uh, the name, if it translate, would be a Bob Pigeon. Now, Mike Tyson loved pigeons since he was a child. Way before he got that pigeon house over there at Casamaro house. It's a real story about real Mike Tyson, not the bullshit that is uh, throughout the media, the way they depict the stuff, how it, uh, how it all happened. It's a very, very entitled kid who knew how to play hypocrisy, who learned how to play disadvantage, poor, etc., 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 while, while taking like, a total advantage of the system, presenting himself as a victim of the system while committing crime on other people Mike Tyson probably the worst thing about Mike Tyson is that whatever he got whatever he got from somebody um, once he gets something from somebody he had a mentality to destroy he didn't have a mentality to help out or whatever but he had a mentality to once he learned something it would be the best that you fucking wasted destroy and so on this is different kind of mentality different world person from truly from the different background from a different world uh story the truth about the country that is not exactly as you know is doing its best to depict to be That kind of sweater, that's him 
and this kind of sweater that's me and so on and so forth that he fucked with that kind of stuff and he tried to create some kind of attitude in me that rather would rely on uh, you know on his uh, on his crime against me it would make me dependent while on a long shot he aimed at basically killing me and this is the way it is a little bit here a little bit there till the person drops dead 53 years later this is the way it is just as I described on blog a little bit here a little bit there and act like if I'm helping you out till you fucking drop dead that's exactly the way it is that's exactly the way it is this is expert Mike Tyson is the expert in this stuff Mike Tyson is a coward enormous coward Mike Tyson was afraid of me he knew that I would grow up and once I started to grow up he started to feel he's gonna have to face me inside of the ring sooner than later and went totally insane when his trainer um, promoter manager this guy here Don King expressed interest in me that's when he Mike Tyson went insane that is gonna start to train me and that stuff is gonna come out of me uh, without any doubt I would have killed anybody in the ring if I would have somewhat similar circumstances as Mike Tyson had and if somebody would even say something to me about what they were doing with me and stuff like this and give me a power then yeah I would probably just turn into a kill machine inside of the ring basically and I would go I would go and do it for the hell of it and he knew it and that kind of day is to come then it's the end of the boxing and everything today I'm challenging Mike Tyson to a 1v1 boxing match he said we yeah well that's how Mike Tyson afterwards presented me under one uh, and Mike Tyson truly, truly, truly enjoyed in two things in my life. Mike Tyson truly, truly enjoyed in two things in my life. Matthew's whole body is Do you think he's gonna... Broken spine and this kind of stuff here. This kind of stuff here. That I described the lymphoma, the way they play with the lymphoma. Mike Tyson knew all about not only broken spine but also about lymph nodes the way they did damage to me the procedure how you break one down completely totally destroy one and no wonder Robert Golop was just um, his preferred politician this truly was a Milan Kuchan who ensured that Mike Tyson would have no fucking competition I mean, we had a Slovenian president here. <laughs> um, I, I'm not going to go here. I'm not going to go into these issues. I don't want to get into this stuff. But they are truly, truly unique criminals, career criminals, killers, murderers, backstabbers. Uh, the most vicious criminal people the world have ever seen. With central intelligence agency federal bureau investigation british mi5 giving them a free hands to do whatever the fuck they wanted and giving them a full support on every step of the way as much support as they possibly could get leaving me basically with the photos like this to talk to myself beep 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 beep, beep, beep. like a chicken this is Mike Tyson. This is a real Mike Tyson. This is the real truth about me, Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson's involvement in my case. How about any other Mike Tyson? Everything else was shit. I had to bail one. I, I was delivered in his prison when he was thrown out. 
inside on one by Bill Clinton and all kinds of stuff partially I described because there was too much that pertained to this spoiled rat known as Mike Tyson privileged kid like very few in the United States of America and who got a warm welcome on Bronx wherever he's from by his people for what even laugh at me it should be you uh, and instead is me myself going through the hard stuff and so on and this and that this Mike Tyson I was gonna say schizophrenic but I don't think he's a schizophrenic he's very intelligent he saw himself it's how he got the victories in injustice against me in other words he saw himself in my skin and the people that did crime to him they did crime to me real crime real injuries it was presented to him so he could use this to boost his anger in him so when he would go inside of the ring that he would face people person and break one into pieces literally from the rage through the madness literally thinking about that he is I and I am him and it was the injustice that took place was against him now, I think that's brilliant that's not schizophrenic really it would be against myself if I would state this so I know that Milan Kuchan is a really really good friend of this individual here he made a really good friends in this part of the world I know exactly who he is I, I did identify him for exactly what it is and I could go on and on and on and on but there's no time there's no time to waste on this I want to know for every one of these people I just want you to know who is what is it's not going to be some kind of mistake about who is what is. I'm not going to say the world is flat or the world is round. I don't give a three fuck. But the internet, the media is full of liars. Misinterpretators of the facts of the truth. Twisting the truth, twisting events. And this shit goes to the British royals. The other ones, they have this tentacles throughout the Hollywood and world of boxing and world of entertainment and NBA and whatever you would get because they look the influence they look for the power they look this is what power this is how you enforce stuff this is the type of business they are in schizophrenia is their main business it's their main industry for 53 years they have done nothing other than enforce genocide against me with all these people I was one against all. I was the one against the entire world. I was poor. I was poor. Because I declined to acknowledge I was by myself. I was poor. because I decline to acknowledge that with God you're never by yourself and I was foremost I was poor because I declined to acknowledge it is better to be poor and have yourself than rich and have nobody that's Mike Tyson this is facts about Mike Tyson this is a factopedia and the rest you can fucking write you can whatever I'm not saying everybody is doing bad stuff the way they describe and stuff like this I'm just saying I don't know anybody anything I don't own shit I did it by myself definitely proven did it by myself because stuff I have written about on my blog it was a time when the CIA claimed well FBI well you know if you're gonna you know you're gonna tell this you're gonna la 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 yeah we are doing the report uh, interviewing people and uh, you know people are bugged anyways uh, were bugged and you were bugged and so on there, there will be a collection of the facts that pertain to you and so on 
Man, I'm fucking done with with this kind of stuff. <laughs> Think about how I'm gonna get some kind of favor from somebody who stated to me, you know, money is of no use to you. You know, I got money. And what's worth even more than having money is Tyson. Robert Golop and others scooch and laugh in my face was I have ability to use one. Not only that I have the money explaining me that money is not worth nothing when you're old and you no longer need one and it's useless to you. When you're sick, old and so on. This is a fucking bastard here. That's your Mike Tyson, your great hero. Your meter 80, whatever. A victim, a hero. Definitely a man who knew how to shift. Definitely a man who knew how to shape shift, you know, a real shape shifter. A real shape shifter who even when he had money, he was so fucking miserable. He was miserable as Oprah Winfrey. They needed more money and got into the more crime against me, charging me with a racial discrimination and so on, so he could get more money through more crime against me, through more violence and so on, even showing me the money and, because, and was vicious to get more fucking money based on the, my injustice against him. That's your Black Lives Matter. This is not Mike Tyson only. That's your Bronx, your Queens, whatever, Baltimore and Chicago. No, you wanted you wanted to see if I if I know who this guy is. I know who this guy is. This is the guy who was sure that I'm a bitch that I'm trying to steal his girlfriend because I declined to acknowledge her as beautiful. He was certain that I'm so envious of him that I'm trying to fuck him and I try to steal the girlfriend from him. Then he started to use his girlfriends and wives and so on to. Divorced wives even to suggest me that I can have them and this and that or that, you know, all kinds of stuff like this, like, you know, like I'm special or important to him or whatever, you know, post with the pigeons literally in front of me, gesturing me that he feels about them like he feels about me, that he's in this only to release them, just like to release them is there to release me and so on and stuff like this fucking out twisted, crazy psychiatric shit. <laughs> lies, word of lies that will make you feel fucking sorry you were born. Sick shit. He using basically his daughters to degrade me, to humiliate me, to acknowledge me as mentally ill. And finally, as it became evident that they're not gonna fuck me, opposing with his daughters in front of me, I don't know, in 2018, 2019, 2020 as uh, a potential mates for me, a potential uh, marital partners for me, and so on. He became a philosophical grandpa uh, who knows absolutely everything about life. Oh man, he shamed me for getting fat and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I looked even retarded to him because I got fat from depression and stuff because I didn't have anything to live for in the US. Pathetic. But this is the way it is. The photos which psychiatrists cop she even used during MK Ultra. Knock knock. A rock a rock. So when you hear at your doors the ambulance vehicle workers knock. And they did come to pick me up. Electric company from Morgan Freeman. Knock knock 
Rock Rock Electric Company, ECT, Electric Convulsion, so-called therapy. It's basically going to take a sledgehammer and smash your fucking brain. Thanks for studying, by the way. Knock, knock, rock, rock. Black Lives Matter injustice. Can't breathe. Federal Bureau Investigation, Central Intelligence Agency, a fucking zoo. What is it here with this trainer here? I saw this video here, this stuff here. Wow, that almost made me piss in my pants, this stuff here. Uh, what it was this guy the trainer that he was in and he was he went on to cry Wow uh, This actually makes me think this guy really was a mentally ill guy in a way um, Really I mean he was not mentally ill. I mean this was just This is just disadvantaged I mean totally totally disadvantaged who became a privileged child God forbid you would do something like this to Mike Tyson when he was child or something like this I mean it depends on what sense but for the victim that he played for the stuff that he played in front of me and stuff that he was all the time he was a victim used his own son to teach him how to break me how to fight he used his own son to torture very few people so evil so vicious like this individual here that is posing now these days like a good grandpa like some kind of samaritan or something like that very few people very few people like this so no wonder slovenian police was so excited about him the psychiatrist coughs it all over and he went on to ah, it doesn't matter really I mean it's a nonsense when psychiatrists literally with the police with the politicians break your spine and does stuff like this to your lymph nodes and so on and poison you to cause you harm with your liver with your kidneys it's a nonsense to talk about that you know about his view on boxing uh rating you like a top boxer uh asking about uh, techniques and so on fighting techniques and so on uh compare you with a tyson and rate boxing as mentally ill so that you would side with him and stuff like this this is it's nonsense for me to talk about brainwash psychiatric brainwash is just a psychiatric brainwash it's just designed to perform certain outcome from the people from the victims i don't think definitely absolutely nobody was as abused as i was i'm not afraid i'm not ashamed to admit this i don't know how he's going to deal with this issue I stated today but this is the real these are the facts about Mike Tyson who Mike Tyson is I was guilty for his loss to Lennox Lewis um, and so on and so on and so on um, it, it was too many things too many issues which none had to do with reality with reality the only reality that pertains to any individual, whether you're drugged up or you're not drugged up, is the early beginnings that you have with a person. If you are subjected to this kind of vicious shit, and it doesn't matter whether you're drugged up or you're not drugged up, it, ma it matters not. Usually when you're not drugged up, you have ability to walk away from person. But in an you have no fucking ability to do anything. Because they deliver you back in front of the person. It's different than in life. In real life, if somebody is a child, 
does harm to you, you have ability to defend yourself. You can kick his ass, he's going to come back no more. Or if he's going to come back, he's going to get more. Whatever. In my real life, not even that was possible because they used entire class. They used 20 kids. 15 kids. It was 15 kids that flew all over the place. And if that was not enough, it was a one more class that would come to rescue. Not even in a fucking real life, I didn't have this kind of luxury. <laughs> Mike Tyson enjoyed in being... Uh, Mike Tyson enjoyed in being booed on a stage. He enjoyed in being booed on a stage. Thanks to Milan Kuch, and he enjoyed being booed on, 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 on the stage. Because nobody was as booed as I was. I had entire fucking school boo me. For poor Mike Tyson to see what it means to be really discriminated and hated and I don't know what. What kind of injustice can take place so he can see himself in that and does his job then and the way, you know, all about me and this and that. That's real Mike Tyson. I don't give a three fuck about Mike Tyson's. I don't give a three fuck about any of you. You are not worthy of my being next to you. You're not worthy to be next to me. You don't fit in the picture anywhere next to a person like myself. What the fuck I need you for after I do everything by myself? And I say everything by myself, even without the fucking CIA, even without the fucking FBI. And for all the photos where you pose, until 2020, they're dated to 2020. I paid in for. With the beatings you performed on me. Terror, you engaged in me. That much the sweeter the victory for me. That, that, that's what I take the pride in it, motherfuckers. I prefer you to hate me. Because when you hate me, it's more evident that I did it by myself. There was not some cocksucker from Slovenian police station. Or whatever fucking place. Who helped me out or whatever. Every fucking one of you got job careers in place. Every fucking one of you got real estate deals. Loans. In other issues going on in businesses and markets and all kinds of stuff. Markets, governments even got, countries got and so on through this case. You don't fucking tell me that it's because of you in any way. Whoever the fuck you are, whatever the fuck you are. That you have something to do with you motherfuckers. You see, that's the difference. None of you have anything to do with it. I did it, who, why, how, myself, everything.